So XFC desktop. I'm going to skip the first four and go straight onto this Garson or Garcon. And start with downloading it. So straightforward copy and paste and sudo make install. Okay, so that's complete. Mark that off as complete. Thunar next. Needs Tumblr at runtime. Again, configure and make and install. That's done. just marked off soon art so tumblr is in chapter 35 all oh, right it's a little bit that way down it's two on okay so soon art let's download this So we've got said configure and make and sudo make install. Right, okay, so we've got the same problem again. Um, I wonder if I could try doing sudo minus e make install. Yes, okay, so I needed to pass the environment in which has obviously the correct paths to get that to install. Um, so that's Thunar. Now we can move on to Sunar Volman. And we've got the dependencies for this. Simple config and make install.
that's complete. Tidy up. And move on to Tumblr. We've done, so we'll skip that and move on to XFC E4 App Finder. Again, a simple configure and make. That's done. XFC for App Finder. Next one we've got XFCE4 panel. Uh, okay, might help if I saved it. Again, configure and make. Right, install. Okay, so this needs the minus C again. And that's complete. XFC4 panel. Next we've got XFC4 power manager. Again, straightforward uh, build. And I'll use this minus C again, I think. It seems to be needed by a lot of these packages. And that's complete. That's done, cross that off, XFC for settings, LXD icon theme is needed for this. Still going. Let's 
So configuration and sudo minus e make install. Update the icon cache. It's done. So that's twenty eight, chapter twenty eight. LXDE icon theme. Now we can download XFC for settings. sound settings so that sounds like a good thing to add enable pluggable dialogues to enable support for embedded settings dialogues so that could be useful build it to make minus E install. Right, just realized what I did there, it took me a while. Minus E make install and that's done. XFC for settings. Now we've got XF Desktop. Once again, it's just copying and pasting and installing. Desktop, mark that off. XFWM. Same again, configure and make. install and the last part of the desktop we've got is XFC for session So once again, I'll just copy and paste this. And 
install it. And we'll run this update desktop database and so on. And to use this, if you just want to use XFC, XFC4, nothing else, you can just change your exec, X in the RC. Um, there's something there about what terminal the program starts on, but otherwise we'll be using the desktop manager to select what session we're in. So I'll mark that off and move on to the XFC applications, how many of them are six of these, so I'll install these and then I'll test XFCE. So let's tidy up. move on to the first one which is called Parole and it's a DVD music player so no dependencies let's save link as did that work yes it did And again, configure and make and then install. So that's installed. So like all these applications, it doesn't matter what window manager or desktop environment you're in, you can run them and they'll work. And you can see that's come up. Um, it's asking us for a media file. So that's all okay. I'll cross that off. Next we've got the XFC for terminal. Save this. Again, simple installation. And we can try this as well, XFCE4 terminal. So there you go, it's just a yeah, nothing strange here at all. Okay, so I should be able to control D out of that. Yep, that's worked fine. So I'll move on next to XF burn, which is a front end for the lib ISO burn. How's this called? XF burn. Once again, just configure make install. And that's that, so let's try an XF burn. No burners are currently available, okay. So it knows that we haven't got anything, but you can see it's 
it's run. And it looks quite similar to um, Brazero in a certain way. Maybe it's the icons that look similar. But yeah, that looks like that's all working okay. So tug it up. Move on to the next package, which is Ristretto. Cross that off as well. So this is an image viewer. Again, same as before. In fact, I'm going to recall the command here. That's done. So it looks like it's remembered where we've been before. Same as the um, XF burn did. So if that obviously works okay. Cross that off. XFC for notified demon. said configure and build and install and we can test that it works with this command here and it might needs to be oh Oh, that is the user. Okay, maybe it needs to be done as root. No, uh, it could be that it doesn't work in this environment. So we can try that out in a moment. But for now, I'll cross that off. I seem to think we tried out something before with a notification like that, and it didn't work. And it's probably TWM that's causing that. So uh, pulse. XFC E4 Pulse Audio plugins. Let's just tidy this one up. So a couple of runtime dependencies. Make an install. That's done. And that's in chapter twenty five. Keybinder, there's two versions there. We've just installed Keybinder three. Other dependency we need now is POVU control. So I can configure and make. And 
Oops, to do make install and that's done. So chapter forty three PAVU control and now we can move back to XFC for Pulse Audio plugin. Once again, simple configure, make install, and really cool set of commands I've used before, like that one. Configure it with prefix user, make sudo e make install. And that's done, so I'll cross that off. That's all the applications for XFCE installed. So I'll close these two down. I'll get, oh no, hang on, I wanted to test this, didn't I? So I'll leave that up. I'll quit the browser. I'll come out of Right, that usually means something is still running when that happens. That's a bit unfortunate. So I'll have to go to my virtual terminal one and just do Control C there to abort that. Now I'm going to do sudo init five. So I've got our login. I can now select what environment I want, and I want to test XFCE there it is there so login kernel text and there is the desktop so I'll get the don't know what browser this will bring up so it's brought up Firefox Okay, let's load up Falcon. That's okay. Let's try the um, terminal we couldn't load before. I think that'll be this one. Okay, no, it's not working then. Okay, that could be that session, that um, GNOME session. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the, no, I can't right click it either. Okay, I'll do the XFC terminal because we've just built that. That's worked straight away um, as it did before when we tested it. So now if I run this test here, I'm expecting this to work. And yes, it has. You can see up in the corner here, it says high kernel text. This is a test. If I actually minimise that, um, I don't know if it'll disappear after a while. If I click it, it goes. Don't know if it will disappear after a while or not, but that proves it works fine. Um, and yeah, basically anything else that I've installed here should work. Uh, soon our file manager we've just installed, so that's all okay. Um, we can have a look at ok we've already seen the Sudoku once so there it is again working uh, was this uh, don't say who's written that I'm not sure where that's come from actually um, let's try Brazero again yeah, that's working still. Let's try that cheese again. Okay, it's still saying it can't find the device, but you can see all these GNOME 
packages work in this environment and vice versa, you, you can just mix and match. They might not look absolutely as they should do, um, but they will work. So I'm going to log out now. Let's just do a quick about. So you can see the Apple's processor, their i4 is a ultra low power um, CPU. And you can see it's even picked out the, I presume that's the LSB release information. So you can see that we are actually running um, Linux from scratch. So I'm going to quit now and log out and I'm going to go back to my virtual terminal go back to run level 3 and reload StarTex or rerun StarTex now it looks like that previous session has moved the Falcon screen probably because there was a title bar at the top or not, not title bar, control panel at the top so I'll just move that back up there to where it was and get rid of that and go to the LXDE chapter ready for the next videos where I'll be um, showing those packages being installed for LXDE.